Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you guys how to clean up your Lenovo Ideal Pad 300 and how you can clean up the fan and replace your CPU and GPU in case that you have a GPU version on your board. So let's get it starting right away. First thing first, flip it over and remove the all the screws at the bottom side. So two in the front, three in the middle and two on the corners. All right, once you remove this, all the screws at the bottom, grab the bottom cover, slide it towards the front. And once you see this gap right there, now you can just go ahead and lift it. And that's the bottom cover. Now, we do want to remove the hard drive first. And we have to remove all the screws on the black cover. So there's one, two, three, three right there. And there are four holding the hard drive and two more at the other end. All right, now that we remove all this, we wanna remove the hard drive, just slide the hard drive towards the speaker and then lift it up and put it to one side. Unhook the cables for the Wi-Fi just by lifting up the cables from the jack. There are two of them. All right. Make sure there's no more screws left on the bottom, except the Wi-Fi board screw. Flip it over, open the screen, grab yourself a guitar pick. I always use a guitar pick if I wanna remove covers, keyboard. Put the guitar pick right in between the keyboard and the plastic, and just go in a twisting motion all around it. I usually do the top side only. And then once you got the keyboard, don't yank it out, just move it towards the screen a little bit. And you're gonna see this clip right here. And go ahead and lift up the clip, 90 degree angle, and the screen will come up, the keyboard will come up. Now in here, you have to remove two screws, one right here and one right there. This one is being covered with the white tape for the warranty reasons, so remove those. Once you remove those two, you don't want to unhook the ribbon cable for the touch ID, touchpad. Just lift up the lock and remove that. Same thing for an on off switch cable, which comes right there. Unhook it. Next, again, grab your guitar pick and you want to stick your guitar pick right in between the gray and black cover plastic and just twist it in a Twisting motion. Move it in a twisting motion, I would say. Go do this all around it. Once you did that, just grab the front side, wiggle it around, it will come out. Right. Now, down here, the first thing before anything else, you want to unhook the battery cable. So. Don't do it with a tweezer. You don't want to stick the tweezer right under this tape. You want to shorten the battery. You want to do it with a plastic tweezers or with your fingernails. If you don't have fingernails, just grab a, any kind of plastic stuff and just lift up and make sure you lift the cable. I mean the tape. Because if you don't, you're gonna see this those pins right there. You don't want to shorten those pins. So. Always make sure that you lift it, use plastic to lift up the tape. Now unhook the cable right there by pulling it towards the battery. Now for the screen cable, just grab this flap thing right here and grab it and pull it towards the towards your ceiling. You have to pull it really hard, it will come out. Right? Now for the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM adapter, lift up the cover, unhook. Same thing for extra USB and audio jack on the right. Lift up this and unhook. At the bottom, you wanna unhook the speakers right there just by pulling this. Don't pull the, don't yank the cable, I just put my nails. 
between the plastic and I'll just pull it out. All right, now, once we got all this done, we have to remove two or three screws. One right at the bottom here by the speaker. The second one is right by the battery. And the third one is on the fan. Right there. Once you remove those, just grab the motherboard from this side lift it up slowly make sure once you lift up 45 degrees grab this cable right here that's the power jack and just pull it out towards the fan now you can go ahead and lift up your motherboard all right now you can put your motherboard down face down the back side down that's your cpu and some people have a GPU installed, it will be just right here and the heat pipe will go all over the GPU. In this model there's no GPU installed, there's only CPU. So first thing you want to do, you want to unscrew the fan and the three screws that hold the heat sink. Once you got those out, you can go ahead and unhook the fan from the board before this or right now, doesn't matter. And then you can just remove the heatsink. Now you can actually go ahead and clean the duct system in here, the cooling system fans. Clean your fan. This is a pretty clean one. This is a brand new laptop. And that's the thermal paste. You can just clean it with an alcohol and put a new thermal paste over this. I'm just gonna add additional thermal paste over this. I use uh, MX4. You can use Arctic Silver 5, depending your likes. Because this is a client, a client like it depends how much a client pays. Based on that, I apply the right thermal paste. For this type of CPUs, I always use MX4. There's, there's no need for any other. All right. Once you got the thermal paste in there, just align the heatsink over. Grab the screws. Put the far end one first. And the last one, put the fan screw. And always make sure that you do not forget, do not forget the cable for the fan. Some people always forget to put it in and put the cable for the fan. Now, before you put the flip over and put the motherboard in, you want to clean the filter system on the bottom. Just clean this with an air or with a toothbrush. And also this power jack. You don't want to put it like this because you can't see where you're going to put it. So I'll just recommend you guys flip it over because it goes right there. Flip it like this in this angle and grab the jack so you can see it. And just slide the jack right in the place. Now you can just flip it over. Gently place the motherboard in place. Make sure the cables are not underneath the motherboard just take them up same thing here and move it around until it just fits in a place there we go the usb jacks they have to go right in the slot now it's in place first thing first put the screws for the motherboard one right up here, one down by the speakers, and the last one is by the fan, holding the fan to the base. Now you want to put the speakers at the bottom, put the extra USB port cable, the CD-ROM adapter, 
the screen cable just put it on top and push it down and at the end you want to put the battery cable connect the battery to the board once you did that grab the top cover put the hinge side down first make sure it's just nice and snugly inside there and then push the sides down first don't push the mat you don't you don't need to put any pressure in the middle just push the sides so you hear all those click sounds next you want to put in the power on switch cable All right, and next you want to plug in the touch pad cable right there and put the cable down. Put the two screws on the top side. Once you got that in, grab the keyboard, put the keyboard in this position, open the clip right there, slide the flex cable right underneath it, and push down the clip. Put the bottom side of the uh, keyboard always down first, slide it down there, and push down the sides, make sure you hear those click sounds. Once you got that in, just close the screen, flip it over, and now you want to start putting all the first thing, put this hard drive in, slide the back end first, put it down, and slide it toward the RAM. Now you want to start putting the screws back in. Remember the thicker screws goes on top of the hinge. All right, once you got all the screws down there, you wanna grab the bottom cover, put it down, and let it offset, and then you're gonna slide it towards the inside of the laptop. And you're gonna put the last two screws, and that's all. I hope you guys like this video, and if you liked it, thumbs up. And if you guys want to subscribe, it really motivates me to make more videos and answer any questions, take requests. Also, I'll be doing prizes giveaway every 500 uh, subscribers. And uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching.